Well, well, well. Cameron here, Gravity Goods. One, two, three, four. Welcome to my channel if you're new. If you're not, welcome back. It's the weekend. Let's go to an estate sale. Well, actually, I think it was advertised as like a four family barn sale. I don't know. I do have to swing by the UPS office really quickly. UPS office, UPS store, real quick to drop off a package. Go to the bank to get some cash. And then we'll go to the, the little college town that I actually um, went to school and where my daughter now goes to school. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get to it. cut in here so you just saw from that last clip i did get to the barn but the people that were running the sale because it, i'm guessing because it was way out in the boonies uh there was like three different people watching me like a hawk not because necessarily they thought i was going to take something but it was a barn and i was the only customer so it felt weird to record so the only recording you're going to see next in that barn is me looking at an X-Files DVD, and I did buy it. So let's continue on. You will see the things that I picked up at the end of the video. All right, so I only got a handful of things at that last estate sale, but I still wanted to make a whole video. So I drove uh, 40 minutes north in a town called McMinnville, and we're gonna go check out this other estate sale. If it's packed, which based on the cars it might be, uh, I may not, might not do any filming inside. I might just do kind of a haul, look what I got at these two estate sales type of video. Anyway, let's go inside. Usually I don't start in the kitchen, but that's where the less less people were. <laughs> this little piece of paper. Oh, a record featuring me. I know nothing about records. If this was a whole record, I'd get it, but it looks like it's just the case. Four dollars each. It's a little steep. Holy crap, $25 for this sucker. I have a feeling this is gonna be a higher than I like to pay for things. All right, last time I saw one of these in a state sale, y'all told me in the comments that I should have picked it up. So guess what? I'm gonna pick this one up. Assuming it's only like a dollar or two. Ooh, Fontanini palm trees. Might have to see what that one costs and what it sells for. I found a couple of vests. These are vintage uh, men's vests. I got two of them. Four dollars each. I'll try to get 20 bucks or so out of them each. Hey, look, a Boyd's bear. <laughs> they want $30 for that Fontanini palm trees. The only one I see listed is only listed for $15. So we're going to go ahead and pass on that. All right. 
so far the two vests and the color swatch thing is all i found and i don't even know if i'm gonna buy this depending on what they want to charge on this battery charger we sell for about 20 bucks so i'll go ahead and pick it up for two dollars all right back in my truck and ready to show you what i got at these last two estate sales the first one i went to i paid a dollar for these goody brush rollers i think i can maybe get 10 12 dollars for those found a vintage denver broncos uh, nfl t-shirt pro players the tag 50 cents for this t-shirt probably ask for i don't know 15 dollars 25 dollars something like that uh the x files let's see this is i'm not sure if they're seasons or what they are but they're blu-rays and they're brand new i paid three dollars and i'll put some sold comps up on the screen i also got the complete season one of x files i'll put the sold comps on the screen i found this pretty cool looking vintage mickey and minnie ornament that was also 50 cents and I think, I think if I remember correctly, some sold comps were around 20 bucks. I got the eight film collection complete. Uh, it is not sealed like those X-Files ones were. It's pre-owned, but I did flip through. It's always good to make sure all the actual discs are in there. <laughs> I've definitely bought things before not looking in the box and something was shy. But this has all of the DVDs and uh, I paid two bucks for it. I paid 50 cents for this bolo tie. It's a pretty cool looking one. If you're into cowboy stuff, it's got a steer on it. I might just give that to my coworker friend who uh, likes stuff like that. And then for $4, I got this neat looking Pyrex bowl. So that was the stuff at that first estate sale. And like you just saw the clip of, paid a dollar for this. Didn't pass it up this time. And then I paid uh, $4 for each of these vintage men's size medium, 100% wool sweaters. I think I'll get around $20 each on those. Uh, so eight into 40 is how I see it. And then in a box, uh, speaking of looking inside things, I didn't look in this, doggone it. Mm, that was dumb of me. I paid a dollar for this keepsake album from Hallmark, like for wedding guests. And I forgot to look inside of it and look, somebody's name is written in it. So probably not gonna be able to sell it with somebody's name written in it. So look before you buy. Then I need to take my own advice. I got these Pottery Barn coasters for $2, $3. Uh, they're pretty neat looking. It's a little snowman one, reindeer with Santa, Santa with some presents, and a uh, Christmas tree one. I might ask Heather if she wants to keep these for the holidays because she loves to decorate come Christmas time. And if she doesn't, then I will sell them. I think comps were around 15, 20 bucks. Oh, and before I go, I also found for $8 these Converse shoes. I actually picked them up for my kiddo. So, uh, Terry, you're welcome. I know you'll never watch this video, but $8. The lady said she wore them once. I got those at that first garage uh, garage sale. And uh, there's an egg shortage. Heather went to the Costco the other day, the Costco. She came home and she was like, they're out of eggs. So when I was at that one, that first yard sale, garage sale, barn sale, whatever, the lady was like, would you like any fresh eggs? And uh, $4 for a dozen. I called Heather and said, you want me to get some eggs? She said, get two dozen. So got two dozen of eggs for eight bucks. Not for resale, but for my growing stomach. Anyway, hope y'all have been like, have been liked. Hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you have, consider giving it a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm slowly growing, getting a little bit closer to 900 subscribers. Whew, one of these days, pals, we're gonna hit a thousand. One of these days. Anyway, until then, have fun, make money, stay grounded. See you in the next video.